today we have a guest that really really inspired me and i think as beach boss i am gonna pass on my sticks to this guy to carry the torch for Trinidad and Tobago's drummers i know that's a big claim now they want to know who he is but definitely i think he deserves that respect and i am honored to pass on the battle to Mikhail Harris. Mikhail? Harrison. Harrison! I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm just so excited that I get to see you play. I'm so excited about your talent, about your potential, and we're going to do in the future. See you, bro. Can I bless you up a little more? Gentlemen, this is your boy Burj Boss on the Chin Jump Corner. Yo, it's our people. Let's be mocking, man. Tell me, all right, yo, let's come on here excited. This is the best. This is what. Listen, listen, listen. Today, I literally had to give him more sticks because, yo, this guy is the future of Trinidad and Tobago drumming. I'm not putting much on it, but listen, ladies and gentlemen, see this sweet man here. He might be the youngest person on the lineup. 
I think he is. But ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mikhail Harrison. Bolle make noise. Bolle. Make noise. Right. Right. Now nah, you should clap for yourself. Let me make noise. Right. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, look my boy. Look my boy. Let's jump up and tell them your age one time. Well, I'm 16 years nah. of age. Nah. Um, just a drama that's you know that um, mm. really look up to Birch and. Um, so. We start full MBA. Come to you, man. Is that we talking about? So, come, we could talk about your face that you have on your clothing. <laughs> what are we doing there? What are we doing there? Nothing wrong with it. That's humble match. Humble match. You see your wallpaper? Huh? Your lock screen wallpaper? My, my lock screen wallpaper? Oh, I'm yeah. dead. Oh, I'm dead. That's just an inspiring um, oh, oh. picture right, right, right. of myself kick it, kick it. to remember that, you know, yeah, kick it, we could do this now, buddy. Kick it. Yeah? <laughs> so, so that is how you feel? That is how I feel. Right. How are you feeling? I got it. You good? Really you good? Good. But explain the brand. What's, what's, what's going on here? Well, people, um, <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this, is, this is just my brand that um, mm. I'm trying to build on, which is the drum kit brand. Um, there's Facebook page, not drum kit. So yeah, that is usually what it is, where I'll be sharing my cover videos, um, yeah, and tutorials on drums and stuff like that, yeah. Stuff like that. Ladies and gentlemen, forgive him, man. He's a little nervous today, all right? But on all seriousness, go and follow him on Facebook. You have an Instagram, sir? Let's see. Uh, we go plug it in at, 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 at the bottom, you understand? Okay, we're gonna push this brand. This is a guy who I knew him from, like, yeah, hi. He won't remember me, but definitely his pops, who is a. I would say a celebrity in his in his own right. <laughs> a, gospel, a wonderful gospel artist. Real hits on the e belt. And I know this guy years now. Um mentioned. And this is his son. And he has been pushing his son many years now behind the drum kit. And it is so nice that um we got the opportunity today to bring him on. And y'all y'all hear that first track? What's our phone? You at 16 in Trinidad to Beagle, that was that was amazing, bro. Oh, how was this? How was that process in terms of preparing for the show? Well, the process wasn't nothing. I guess it wasn't. It was nothing really special. <laughs> this is nothing. This is, this is nothing special. This every day. You just... No, it's <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, rephrase it. Rephrase it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> it it wasn't really something special like to say I'm going all out and say alright I'm practicing every single day to get. Yeah. Honestly, it's just, just bad now, but bro, why are you do that? No, I just saying you just say there was nothing special. No, because I want the people to understand we are really trying to say that, but but go on, go on. Go so on. just it's just a process of just listening to the songs um mm. over and over. And just creating not physically practicing, but just creating yeah. stuff. The ideas I have, you know, the first legs in my head, yeah. and just shadowing it, not really physically playing it. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that was really the process. But how you develop that skill of being able to shadow and then execute on the drum kit? I guess it's memory, also. It's just memory, and when I keep shadowing, in, eventually it sticks to me. In okay. terms of stick and okay. wise, movement, motion, that stuff like that. So yeah, that is Alright, so I think we need a little bit more than that. So let's get into it. How long have you been drumming, sir? Well, I have been drumming for 12, 11, 12 years, I'll say. Well, yeah, 12 years, I'll say, because I really started playing drums when I was four. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. Amazing. Go on, go on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that is really how long I've been playing drums. Um, and my journey with playing drums has been something I hold close to me, right. something that is special to me. Um, Why? Why? Why you have this special connection with drums, particularly? Because it just is a way of, is a way that I express myself. Right. So right. it's a way that I express myself. 
maybe how I'm feeling. Um, maybe I might be feeling a particular way, mm. and drumming might help that. So, yeah, that is why I really love drums. So, how are you feeling today with the tracks you picked today? Felt, <laughs> felt very confident, I must say. Um, you sound confident. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, let, let me know in the comments how you really find the song. I find the song confident, played excellent. But he would tell me, no, thing, cap, gas, thing. Bro. Mm, Why well, was we going to start? So it was fine. <laughs> it, it was evident it was fine. Right. Yeah, I kind of chill. Let, let, let them hear you, let them hear you. They're not hearing you. Trinidad and Tobago, and by extension, international or the other countries. Right. This is coming from me. Do lie, yeah? No, I'm not lying. Go on. Right. I, Miguel, Messiah, Marvin Harrison. Your father watching you, yeah? huh? Right. Go on. <laughs> yes, I'm on my own name. Mm. I kind of chop, right? I kind of chop. Wait just now. And I, I am seeing it. I kind of chop. Many people might think otherwise, but. I don't lie to my
I'm a well, boy after the, you know. This is my good friend. And I need to have him on here because I see something that I'm very inspired to, mm-hmm. to witness. And I like when these things happen. And definitely, when you have fathers and sons, and especially fathers, really pushing their sons to the level of excellence that we're going to see in a short bit, I find that is very inspiring. So, let's get into this story hmm. in terms of where we, where we should go. From birds, when you see he had the potential. Yeah, by the way, this is Mikael Harrison's father, mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give us a little, a little story. Yeah, let me put it in a, in a nutshell. So to put it, um, mm. well, I remember when my wife was pregnant with, with Mikael as a baby. Um, I would always put my hand on her belly and I would sing, we would play music, but she always singing. Yeah, so yeah. music was always resonating through his umbilical cords, mm. you know? So he, he was born with, with, with music. And um, from a little baby, yeah. when we were, um, we grew up in church, you know, church family. And uh, when we go to service and saying, he, he, he will be in your arms and he would, once he would hear drums and music playing, he yeah. would start a fidget and he want to turn, he want to see yeah, the drummer. Yeah, yeah. So you would always have to put him to sit on your lap and face him to the drummer. Then eventually he want to slip down, stand up between your legs. So what I had to do now was always make sure I had um, like um, two pens yeah, 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 or something yeah. like that. And I mean, he, before he was standing up, I had to hold him between my legs like this and give him the two pens and he will look at the drummers and whatever is playing and he will begin to shadow he will shadow what is playing yeah so that 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 was it and i i recognized that that gift in him and we nurtured it um i nurtured it and i i felt as a father that um being involved in music for a number of years plenty years that i owed him or i owe him that opportunity at getting a shot at his dream and what you know he really wants to attain and the the standard that he is aiming for it it's high nice. you know when i listen to him talk the people he follow it's 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 high and um i am just trying to be a facilitator because many times as young mm-hmm, boys mm-hmm. and girls growing up yeah. we, we we often say boy if i had somebody to push me or give me that yeah. opportunity yeah. And I don't want that to be a song that he will get to sing. He must say, you know, at a young age, I had the opportunity of my father pushing me yeah. and, you know, investing in me. Yeah. So what are some encouraging words that you could give to fathers out there who, who may see mm-hmm. the son or the daughter making a set on us, but what they won't understand what really right. going on. They're beating the pans, they're beating the pots. They're just like, right. I don't want to hear this thing. Like how you... First of all, how you dealt with that season when you were just beating everything and how you got through that season and what you recommend to well, parents today? For me, it wasn't just beating everything. Eh? He used to be going around the house going... <laughs> I should have sung a little good sometimes. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he would go like that and, and this was how he was practicing. I would watch him watching TV right. Right. and this would be his um, movement. Yeah, so yeah, he would yeah, practice yeah. there and his lips would be going and he's memorizing and retaining stuff. So I want to say to fathers, to parents out there, right? Um, you might be, you, you, you might have your child. It might be sounding like noise now, yeah. but don't see it for what it is. See it for what it could become. There's potential in our children like that. And we have to be careful not to kill that dream before we give it a shot. Mm. I mean, I, 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 I sat today um, yeah. while, you know, in this Trini um, drum corner. And I'll be honest with you guys, you all, you all didn't see what was going on. But uh, when I, I, I went to a corner and I began, I shed some little tears, boy, mm. because it was a proud moment for me as a father. Mm. And I remember I messaged, I, uh, and, um, messaged my wife and I said, um, I don't have one regret for any investment that was made into him. And I think today was like a realization and a pinnacle for me of, um, wow, mm. I have seen growth, you know? Ah, <sighs> little I, touching moment. Yeah, like uh, uh, guys are speechless because this this will happen every day, and it's unfortunate that we not everybody could share the same story. 
But we want to inspire guys out here. We want to inspire the men. We want to inspire the fathers to invest in the kids, right? Mm -hmm. Today, to date, this might be the youngest drummer we have on the show. And it just might be the youngest drummer we're going to have, period, um, in this in this season. But definitely, I know you guys are going to enjoy. And um, yeah, I my heart is full. Pops are definitely full. So and guys, my eyes. And yeah, 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 oh yeah, gosh, yeah, oh yeah. gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Say big man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. could redesign at least you know to Mikhail from Kara Korea Korea Uncle Kiwa Uncle Kiwa <laughs> I wanted to do pull on that video so oh, bad. Man. No, because every Dad time is so proud of this video. I understand that, but, but all right, how you feel about? You know, I can't take. I just can't take that, but because every time I meet, every time I meet somebody new, someone will always find in that video. Daddy, me more show everybody the video. No, he don't show no, but them don't just find it and then come and chat. Hey, <laughs> I see you when you was younger playing drums. There's you. I just can't take. I just can't take that. But why? That's like one of the big moments in your life. that no bar whole drum can feel, bro. Hey, but I hope it's fine now. Just I, I just, just cause it's on YouTube. And that's what we doing next. Probably wanna play. Actually, I wanna play it again for Spike. <laughs> You could redesign at least, you know. To Mikhail from Kara. Korea. Korea. Uncle Kiwa. Yeah, that's, that's enough to man, so, for me, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you had enough there? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. You're good? Should we watch it one more time? Ah, ah, nah. Alright, I'll leave you, I'll leave you. So, Daddy kept on a real nice story. Mm -hmm. How did Daddy's influence help you along in this journey? My father's influence on my drumming journey. Yeah. I will see, it helped me. Firstly, I would say what helped me was a killer. Mm. Um, 
I will mostly say his the way he pushed me, invested in me, but I'd be instrument wise. Oh by the way, that that snare right there, he brought he brought me that snare for his concert 2018. And just gave me it as a good gift for me. In front of everybody. So that they begin the dance. Yeah. That the real money and thing. Oh man. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. all right. But pushing one way, other than getting the equipment and whatever the case would be like, what are some of the things that he, he would say, or what are some of the circumstances that you're placing? Because I know you also played for his band um, a little bit. So, like, how does that journey from, from the first time as we just watched the video, we see it again, our oh, fresh drum kit? How was life from that moment onward? Life from that moment. I would say life was it was shocking mm. in places I ended up drumming wise. Where about it? Um, so when I was be a significant moment in my drumming journey after that whole getting that new drum set was playing in a Helen Baylor show for my mom's choir. You pick out there, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, is it quality deals? Yeah, no, that, yeah, yeah. that was her. Mm. That was a very significant because my mom, she grew up on those like Fred Hammond, Helen Baylor, yeah. Sherman Hawkins, those gospel artists. So playing in our concert that she was the main actor. In, that was an honor for me. Mm. So um and even I also like to tell my mom for giving me the opportunity to play yeah. for her choir. Yeah. And that um concert that was a really significant time and uh after that began to with my my father's band sometimes yeah. on and off um and that that helped me for a lot you know in terms of playing with band yeah you know, and how to play and stuff like that so um yeah so what were you say is some of the other advantages in having your parents both being a part of music <sighs> The other advantages. Yeah, because we know you're, you're in all the show, cause mommy in the show, daddy in the show, <laughs> daddy there's true events, that is true concert, everybody. So yeah, yeah, privilege, yes, yeah. But I might know what, what else it comes with it. So what else is like some of the perks of having your parents? You know? I will see um get into maybe cool places or see other musicians and about thought how get to see life because just them being gospel artists you know they might go somewhere where a musician i like seeing play or like hear and play yeah yeah i will see them yeah um so yeah i would say that is a very is a pull oh yeah how are you how you feel you feel good mm-hmm. yeah, like obviously no i gotta be honest let the people know uh, no i i feel yeah. really good about that i was remember time when Dai has the same Christmas village. Alright. And <laughs> maybe have a picture of this and all because yeah, you know we're gonna put it up. You know we're gonna put it up. Mm. So now Alpha is one of the drummers I look up to. Alright. Alright. Big up to Alpha. Um and Alpha was playing for a lot of people. That's what he just do. Yeah. Alpha, yeah, you know what he does do. Yeah. So, I actually had the opportunity to have a chair, literally right next to Alpha. Oh yeah. And watch him play throughout the whole show. And I was, my eyes was glued on Alpha, watching his movements, you know. And that was just, that was a very, I after leaving, I didn't want to leave. I honestly mm. didn't want to leave. Yeah. Yeah. So when the show was over, I was like, hey. Because it was a significant moment for me in life, trauma and journey also. Just getting to sit down, literally right next to someone I admire as a drama and look up to as a drama. So I don't mean to put you in any spot, right? Because I definitely know Alpha watching, um, will be watching this. Like, w- like when last year I had a conversation with Alpha? A while, right? But I, I, I don't even think he might might have understand. And everybody who on that level in terms of who inspiring other youth out there, what would you say to drummers like Alpha and other drummers who would hold that influence? What, what would you tell them to do or to continue doing so that other people can have that same feeling 
in terms of how you was just on that chair and it's just like you didn't want to leave i will say um yeah you're watching it you're watching it <laughs> i'll follow octono i'm telling her you don't know i will say um the drummers that um us young drummers look up to i will say keep what you all do right keep at keep doing what you all are doing because there are lots of young drummers out there that look up to you all every movement everything you all do but every drama my social media wise and as us being young every little thing could have a very big impact on us mm. so good and maybe and i'm not bashing anybody or anything in no, that no. way but maybe one little off movement yeah affects that, could, that could affect the young drama be like wow i never thought this drama was like this yeah yeah so i would say keep what you all are keep doing what you all do yeah because you all might know it you all might know it, but you all inspire a lot a lot of young drummers so I say, yeah who are some of your um favorites locally locally i will um hey hey, hey. relax relax <laughs> yeah seriously though no. yeah <laughs> locally i will say drummers like um well alpha Man. Um, mighty. Yeah. Um, I was right. <laughs> awesome. That man. Oh goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Reggae. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Big up yourself. Yeah. Um. Also, drummers like Shaquille. Yeah. 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 And Cherry on drummer. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Cherry on is a whole panel by himself. Yeah. So yeah. those are some people that really inspire me, um, especially in different genres of music. Yeah. So um, yeah, I would say those people really inspire me to keep on pushing. Some of the setbacks I have with you know Trinidad. I shouldn't have done drama at 16 years old. Um well first off my age. Why you said that about it? I will say right, because of my age, yes I'm known yeah. to extent. Some people know me. But where you feel like they, they don't respect you, just oh, like oh, you're too small or you're not billing your your reputation. Yeah. I'm now trying to build my reputation, but right. I might be, you know, eyes, big eyes, people like my team. Yeah. 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 I mean, not like fame, but it's my reputation. Yeah. Right. But, but you're famous. I mean, your face on here. So, I just, let's see it up. So good. No, that's it. I just have a normal print number. But, yeah, continue. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and again, living in Trinidad also, I think that some Trinidad drummers mm. and maybe the music industry, industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Um, and also some of the musicians who don't really get the exposure that they, the exposure that they really deserve. Yeah. Um, because a lot of drummers that in Trinidad and they're just not known, but very bad yeah yeah very very bad and not having that exposure as drummers in the states yeah london like if you was a drummer from chicago but what do you think is the difference at 16 what do you think they're doing differently than we not doing i think production production all right we mean matter in terms of how they do this stuff and how they build their social media right i think it's something they take very seriously right. and we as i think we might take it lightly you know right. not really take it as serious as oh i kick it so i don't really need to 
to push your social media. Yeah, but these fellas can't get any. And still, yeah, still videos. Yeah. videos. Yeah, videos. Yeah. I think that is why they get the exposure that they get sent right now. Mm. So, yeah. so, yeah, Graham's gonna move from a thousand followers to 5k after this episode. Mm. How much you are? Hey, only go and follow the man on the grams. Hope you had to get the followers up. You understand? We we had to get to get your wrap up. The, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, put the energy behind it, so bro. Yeah. Up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, yeah, right. just yes, follow me, follow me. yes, yes. Put it on your Facebook, YouTube, and you open the YouTube. Hey, there's the brand here. Look for it, right? So yeah. Um, what will you see? to persons who in this pandemic. Actually, before I even get to that, how you deal with this pandemic, bro? Because you're young. You want to practice, you want to play. You was playing in shows. Daddy had your day, mom, you had your hair. And it's just like, well, that done. And then school. Because, yeah. um, what for me? In? Well, currently I'm from five. From five? Doing CXC next. Oh, boy. How are how, how, how we dealing with that? Surprise me, I'm doing it fairly good. Fairly, right. fairly well. You ready? I will kind of. Some subjects. Some, okay. Some, okay. some subjects I need to tighten up for. I think I'm going to like some of myself and say, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But what do you think? You should be doing to get ready. I mean, well, other than that. I mean, I, I'm doing it. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> work. Lessons with every single. Yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. that kind of skill level, I swear you just playing drums every day, all day, 24 or 7. Bro, I don't even have to And that's not the people and <laughs> aspiring drummers to not pick up this bad habit. You see that habit of not practicing? The habit that you have. Don't do that. To not do that. <laughs> people practice. <laughs> see, practicing does make a big, big difference. You know? So don't, don't get into the habits, uh, so, oh. so you're saying it. The, so quick question, quick humble up, more question. You practice for this? Mm-hmm. See, that is, this is why mm-hmm. I just feel mm-hmm. to end the interview on time because mm-hmm. I have to practice to play like that. <laughs> and these guys is just, I just, what song it is? We, what, what are we doing? Yeah, I, all right. And just come on play. And I just want to get back. <laughs> but it just waits. I know we come around and say, all your practice, but then he not practicing. So well, why should we listen to you? Can you say any correct things? That, yeah, yeah. It's, it's evident with a lot bigger drums too. He's too. Come have it not practicing it. <laughs> See when you stop playing drums for a while, especially this whole pandemic, mm. you stop playing drums for a while, you're not practicing. Then all right, things will come back up. You get called for a show. Yeah. And the chop you think you had done back last year. Mess. You don't have that again. Yeah, so, so Go practice. On. Yeah, but I think that was the best time that we, everybody should have been practicing yeah, because, sure. of the, because of the downtime and try to get yourself ready for, for the reopening of things. Hopefully. Please. Uncle, Uncle Rowley, please. Yeah. Need it, right? So, what you have on, on the horizon? Well, Let's um, say things open up next week. Well, what to look out from you? Surely, more drum covers. Nice, nice. Surely, surely, more videos. Now. Yeah, so my social media will just be full of videos. Now. See stuff open back. And I'll be in church playing drum. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> watch yourself, man. Uh, take a strike. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, uh. yeah um, surely more videos, search, yeah. kicking my daddy, maybe. What's the name of daddy band? Just Love, the band. All right, nice, nice, nice. Daddy, I think it's lined up for when things open. Yeah, yeah I was sure. Because honestly, if I wasn't here, I was now witnessing your playing for the first time i want to go and see wherever your father playing to listen to you drum i want to be the guy that you was when you were sitting listening to alpha yeah i show it our youth man out there right now it's like hey if i see it's the harrison on that kid 
He gave me a chair, a stool, a bucket. He did? Yeah? Yeah, I guess. Gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Daddy, go out you there, you know. This is... All they seen this, right? All this? Daddy, you know, free, free, free baby boy. And I... This is... This is something that really, really, really touched me. And... The privilege, bro. I, I hope... I hope you know it. I hope you really come to a blessing. And it's a privilege to have you on the Chin Drum Corner. Guys, continue to support us so we can continue bringing these talented local drummers to, to your view. You may not have known who he was before this, but this is what we want to do here. Please subscribe, continue to comment, please share the videos as much as we can get the videos out there as more people that we can get to support because and guys taking this last song all right so now i like to give a special thanks to everyone that was involved in this firstly i like to give special thanks to god himself the man above that blessed me with this talent and keeps me alive every day um then i'll say a special thanks to my parents shermaine marvin arson and everyone that was involved in this the likes of lyrics messiah Butch Boys, Clinical Media Group, Soul Sessions Barroom, Shinny Drum Corner. Also, you all could follow me at Michael Harrison on, face, on Facebook or the main page, Drum Kid. Also, you all could follow me on Instagram, Michael underscore Drum Kid. So, yeah.